everyone, it's Natalie here and today I am finally filming a video. It is really late on Friday, which is the day this is being uploaded and I mean I've just had the worst day ever so I am so thankful that I'm just sitting down filming this video. I This is like my fifth time trying to film a video today. My camera just wasn't working so now I am actually at my friend Grace's house and I am using her camera so thank you so much Grace. I love you. You are a lifesaver. <laughs> Into plans, instead of an everyday makeup routine, I'm actually going to be filming my most requested video. And I know a lot of YouTubers are like, this is my most requested video. And it's not. This is seriously my most requested video ever. Um, ever since anyone finds out I am an engineering major in college, everyone wants me to do a video about engineering. I have a lot of viewers that are in high school right now and going into college and are kind of trying to explore different career paths. And I would love to make a video on different career paths, but right now oh, I want to start with engineering just because that is what I am in. A lot of you guys are also surprised because a lot of YouTubers either don't go to college or when they do go to college they're more into fashion or something along those lines. So I am actually an engineering major so I am in like the STEM program like science, technology, engineering, math. I think that's what it stands for. Um, <laughs> so a lot of girls are not into it. A lot of people are interested in why I chose engineering, what it is exactly. Um, if you guys should go into it, if I like it, the coursework, the load, how much I have to study, if the nightmares and like the rumors are really true about engineering majors. So I am here to answer your most asked questions. Also, by the way, I forgot to say I'm a little flustered, um, but if you guys are new to my channel and want to see more just like lifestyle videos, about me videos, fashion, beauty, all of that. I post videos every Tuesday and Friday and yes today it was so easy to just give up and say I'm not gonna post a video today but I didn't because I am trying to really really stick to my Tuesday and Friday schedule no matter how much I procrastinate so be sure to hit the subscribe button if you guys have not subscribed already and if you guys aren't interested in engineering I have a ton of other videos so you guys can watch those so the very first question I get asked the most or I'm kind of gonna try doing this in a structured organized way is why I am in engineering what it is and what engineering I am doing so the reason I chose engineering, first of all, I go to NC State, by the way, which is a huge engineering school. Um, that's like one of our biggest programs and we're really, really good at it. Like we're nationally ranked. Um, we're really known for engineering. So that's where I go to school. And I chose that school because of engineering. So in high school, about senior year, I decided that's what I wanted to do. And it was because I was really good at math and I loved math and I've always loved math from when I was younger. Like that was always my favorite subject. Even though I loved reading, I didn't like English classes and I didn't really want to go into like business or anything like that. So I just figured engineering, math, those two worked out. And backstory, both my parents are engineers and so they obviously influenced my decision that I'd be lying if I say that they had no influence in what I was majoring in. So that is what, that is like kind of my backstory and I am an industrial engineering major. A lot of other schools call it systems engineering. At NC State they call it industrial and systems engineering. So I guess it's both of those um, or you just can kind of like interchange those names. So that is what my major is and I'm not really sure how many people are in it. I know it's not the biggest one but it's kind of just like in the middle. It's not like aerospace where there's like no one in it but it's not like civil or mechanical where there's a ton of people. Industrial engineering is is basically just making things simpler, making things more cost efficient, optimization, supply chain. Basically it's the business engineering and a lot of people actually say that it's not real engineering because it's not like very sciencey. Even though I do have to take a lot of science classes, it's not like its core focus. Um, so it's more of like the business related engineering which is why I wanted to do it. I would not do any other engineering. Um, I didn't even look into the other ones, so if I didn't get into my department, which is industrial engineering, like I said, then I honestly don't know what I would have done. Um, I was between engineering and fashion textiles because NC State is also really known for that, but I decided after a lot of thought and honestly my parents' influence, I wanted something more secure and I wanted something that looks really great on your resume and I was actually good at it. I wasn't going into it just because you make a lot of money and because like it's a good major. I actually was good at math and semi good at science so that is why I decided to do that because I thought 
me doing YouTube could already get me a foot in into the fashion world if I wanted to go that path, but I wasn't like stuck into fashion. Like if later I graduate and I'm like, wait, I actually don't want to work in the fashion industry. If I only had a fashion major, it really limited me. That's not saying anything bad about fashion majors. I applaud you guys. I'm honestly jealous of you sometimes. Um, I love, I wanted to do that. Like I love fashion and I totally get why you guys are doing that. So I'm not like discrediting that at all. I'm just telling you guys how I came to that conclusion of what I wanted to major in. And I'm a big believer that your major does not define where you're going to end up in 20 years. Unless you want to be a doctor or a lawyer or something that's more specialized, I don't think that it really matters that much. Both my parents, like I said, are industrial engineering majors and they do nothing related to that anymore. It just kind of gives you the right skills that you need to go forth in life. So yeah, that is why I decided to be an engineering major. The next question I get a lot is what classes do I take? How hard is it? Um, studying wise, like how hard do I have to study? So the classes that I take, you have to take the gen ed classes for engineering. So no matter what engineering you are in, I had to take Calculus 1, Calculus 2, and Calculus 3, and then I also had to take Physics 1 and Physics 2, and those were both the engineering track. So my school has like Calc for non-engineer majors and then Calc for engineering majors, so obviously I had to take the four engineering majors one, and then again with Physics, it's also like Physics for engineers and Physics for non-engineers, so obviously you guys know which one I took. Physics one is just more calculus based, so that's why it's for engineers. Um, I also have to take a lot of statistics as an industrial engineer. I had to take stat one and stat two. Um, I got credit for, actually I didn't get credit for stat one in high school even though I took it and I passed the exam. It's because, again, my school has a statistics for non-engineering majors and one for engineering majors. They really like to separate the two, um, so yeah, that's why I was had to take it again in college, but I honestly thought it was great because I remembered a lot from high school, so I did pretty well in the class. Um, I also have to take my core major classes, obviously those are just a lot of like problem solving, analytical things. Um, as far as math goes, after calculus, I had to take some like linear algebras, um, and I didn't, did not have to take differential equations, by the way. For those of you who are not in engineering, this probably sounds like gibberish, but um, <laughs> yeah, for those that are or thinking about going into it, I'm just giving you like a realistic uh, thing of what my classes are. And I also have to take some coding, but not really a lot. Industrial engineers don't really have to code, so I didn't really have to take that. Uh, it's just a lot of analytical and problem solving skills and then of course with my engineering classes I had to take NC State's gen eds which are more of you guys get to do what you want to do so I took like a the what did I take I took like a German history class I took sociology of the family I took a bunch of like random gen ed classes from NC State so that's also like away from your engineering classes and it's actually funny I kind of did worse honestly like sometimes I did worse in my gen eds than my engineering classes because I'm like so focused on my harder classes that like don't even care about my other ones I'm like yeah whatever like I'll just not study for the test and then I'm like wait that's actually still a class and it still affects my GPA but yeah, so that is like kind of like a rundown on my schedule. Uh, I know it sounds like a lot. And for studying wise, it's really, really hard. I'm not gonna lie and I'm not gonna like sugarcoat it. It is hard, but it's definitely manageable. Um, you can still have a social life. YouTube is like my job and I still manage to post two times a week even being an engineering major. So that should tell you something. I can still go out. I still have my friends. I definitely am not like a, I'm never like at home for a whole weekend studying. I would go crazy if I did that. Um, <laughs> there might be some engineers that do that, but I just found a way to do my schoolwork and study hard and still have a life. Definitely don't have as much of a life as other majors. I am not putting down other majors. Once again, like I don't want to put down other majors. I am just saying that engineering is a heavier workload than like a English major or something like that. You know, so it is a heavier workload. Not saying that those aren't hard, but you will be in the library more and you will kind of complain and be like, oh my gosh, that girl was just complaining about having to be in the library for two hours. Like me in the library for two hours is probably like a, I don't even go to the library for two hours. Like if I'm going there, I go there for like eight hours. <laughs> so it's just like, you just kind of get used to it. Honestly, it's a lot harder than high school, but college in general is no matter your major, it's going to be harder than high school. But yeah, that's not to discourage you. That's basically saying like, you can do it. If I can do it, you guys can do it. I was never like the smartest person in high school. Um, and I'm definitely not the smartest person in college, like, by any means. But you can still do it. And remember, C's get degrees, guys. I know that's, like, not a good motto, but it's true. <laughs> I've had to retake a class. I've gotten C's before. Like, it's 
it's totally fine. I was used to getting all A's in high school, but when you go to college, like, you realize getting a C is okay. <laughs> the other thing that I want to talk about is that I am a girl in engineering, and a lot of you guys ask if there's only guys. Um, no, I think it's like, NC State in general has more guys than girls because it is an engineering school, but I have, I, I want to say I have maybe like 80% guys, 20% girls. Engineering, industrial engineering, which is mine, has more girls, I think, because it's less science-y. That is kind of like one of the main questions I get because, again, engineering and being a girl is like not common. Also, people are surprised because I do YouTube videos, like I said in the beginning. Um, basically, just balance it by writing in your planner. I highly recommend having a planner it will keep you sane and it will keep you organized and it won't let you forget anything the very first week I just write all my tests quizzes homework assignments down right away because your teacher gives you a syllabus with like all of everything that's to do and everything that you have coming up at least mine do in all of college um so yeah just really organization is the best I'm not gonna tell you how to stay organized I think that's a whole other video that I could do but just writing stuff down is my way of staying organized so I think I covered mostly all of the questions I get about engineering. I hope I did because I'm not kidding. This video was so requested. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I'm ha very happy that I got to film after not being able to forever. And thank you, Grace, for letting me use your camera. She's sitting on the bed, so I'm talking to her right now. <laughs> You're welcome. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys have any other engineering related questions, leave them in the comments below and I will 100% answer them. And also I was trying to look up engineering videos like to see like inspiration of what I can talk about and there really weren't any. So I'm happy to put this video out there. So if you guys are thinking of becoming an engineering student, I definitely think that you guys can do it. Do not be scared of the court, like the load of work. And like, if you're not smart enough, I was never the smartest person. I'm not just saying that like, you just have to have a good work ethic. You can't be an engineering student and think that you can not do homework or push everything off to last minute or just study the day before a test. You can't and you will fail if you do that. It's just, it's true. Um, but it's possible and if you're organized and actually work hard, then you can definitely do it. I promise. Um, <laughs> so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video again and if you're not subscribed, please subscribe, hit the thumbs up button, let me know video, request in the comments below, any questions you have, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.